<laughs> you guys are probably gonna say like what a maniac yes I am <laughs> this is what I grabbed from the junkyard like yesterday <laughs> oh my gosh yeah well I'll tell you the reason why and uh, I'm actually kind of sad about it because I went to the junkyard and there was uh, a couple of 123s in there which actually is really sad when I see these old school cars over there and I asked the guys if I can buy you know at least one of them you know and the, the junkyard the guy at the junkyard was like no you can't uh, so and one of those cars was a 240d a stick shift actually uh, I'll actually you know put some pictures right here so you guys can see how the car looked like in the junkyard I'm sorry I didn't really film much um, but it was that car and uh, that car it seemed like it had like really low mileage it was really well taken care of uh, it was you know it was it for sure for sure it had less than 200,000 miles uh, and I don't know why they scrapped it I mean I'm, it's it's really sad I really don't know why uh, the car literally had no rust had nothing it was in amazing shape it was it had a bunch of like uh, like you opened the hood and you could see you could see the uh, injector lines being like literally like from the factory like brand new I'll show you right now you see this like it got corroded a little but you could like still see like the shine on them and stuff you know like you could see like you know the hose clamps not the hose clamps but some like retainers uh for like ac hoses uh you know that bolt up to the body itself like they were literally like gold color you know they were like brand new um you know for example like these fittings right here that's that's for your injector uh lines not injector but just you know like this is the line that goes to the injection pump from the um fuel filter housing uh so all that is just an amazing shape you know like um and i don't know i really don't know why that car was there uh but all this stuff i got all these things because uh just because because these cars are getting rare and rare and uh i know that i'm gonna be owning these cars forever i'm gonna have these cars forever with me so i need as many parts for these cars as possible so i'm just collecting all these parts right now and you know i'll have like whenever i get my own garage i'm gonna have like a really big nice shelf of you know and i'm gonna mark all the parts you know this is like 123 cooling system parts this is 123 like suspension parts you know like other stuff uh so anyways let's go really quick uh, i'm gonna show you what i got this actually by the way i got this from a w124 uh, mercedes it was also in the junkyard but uh long story short this is a vacuum pump for the door locks uh this is a little different than on my 126 but as you guys know my 126 pump is not working uh but it has the same connection the three pin connection so um, i'm gonna try to do something i'm not really too sure what the these two pins are for uh but i'm gonna try to make something work out um and there's actually numbers right there i can barely see them but uh yeah it's a bosch thing and usually these these are good on the 124 so i'm gonna actually uh you know retrofit it onto 126 and i think it's gonna work pretty well uh so that's that um don't pay attention to my interior there's a bunch of things in there i'm sorry about that but um uh, this is well these are this is some new parts that i got this is actually the speed sensor for the uh, this, uh not speed like kind of like a speed sensor vehicle speed sensor for the 126 uh that i got it's a brand new one um then this is also this actually came from uh that 240d in the junkyard it's like brand new literally this this light oh my gosh and it works perfectly like it you can listen it clicks like nothing you know usually the ones that are worn out is just gonna kind of like it's gonna be like a freewheeling wheel you know this one actually clicks it's nice um and then uh i got one of these guys that i'm gonna probably put on this uh cherry pie uh but i did not get a chance to get another one because somebody already grabbed it uh but i think she's gonna look really good with these guys i really think really think she's gonna look good so yeah I'm gonna I really want to put the orange turn signals because I think the white ones it's just too much white actually that's why um, and it's gonna look really good with these orange turn signals so I'm gonna get another one at some point uh, for the other side and then I just got a bunch of miscellaneous parts I actually got a camshaft for it um, took off the camshaft 
I'm gonna save it up. I'm gonna lubricate it with wheel bearing grease. So you know it got it started kind of corroding a little bit, but it's not a big deal. I'm gonna clean it up and put wheel bearing grease on it, and then put it in a nice plastic bag. Then I got a bunch of interior parts. Um, you know the fan, and this, and uh, these covers right here that go right there actually for the wiper cowl. Um, and the vacuum pump but i think this vacuum pump is actually different from this car because this is a little older and that one that was i think 1980 240d as far as far as i remember but long story short this is a like an older style they they were putting these on a, a w115s 240ds as well but we'll see i think it's you know it can uh we can make it work as well if anything but uh i think this this was uh i don't know if it was uh, rebuilt or not but doesn't matter um and then i got fan shroud and I got you know tail light and other things and door lock strikers and so much stuff and uh, there's some more this is the wiper motor right here that I got okay so with all this stuff needs to be cleaned up and uh, greased up pretty well oil cap uh, that's probably for the Ursula because she has some newer style she needs to have one of these oil caps and you know ejection pump you know just a bunch of stuff guys i mean an oil cooler right there there's an oil cooler for the 240d um so yeah i'm a, i'm a literally a maniac uh yeah but uh, we love these cars so much we save all of them and old school mercedes never die that's what i'm gonna say uh also right here well you guys saw some of this stuff is you know this is the hood hinge actually got both hood hinges i'm gonna be probably putting on next year on this uh, cherry pie because she was involved in the front accident a little bit um before so she needs she needs some work on this i'm gonna have to remove all this and the hood doesn't uh close normally there's a bad gap over there and oh man this she will need some work some care and some love and as you can see she was sitting for quite a while there's moss here and there and the windshield needs to be replaced so she's also waiting on like probably like a full restoration i don't know uh <laughs> when i remove the rear uh you know the rear seal needs to be replaced there's a bunch of work guys i mean you know but these cars are worth it you know like i said i mean uh and another sad thing about the junkers i went there and there was actually uh, another 300d it was a 300d 1985 and it had um it was there it was there because you know somebody wrecked it uh in the front it was a you know not such a bad accident you know like just some minor you know like collision and they just grabbed the car i mean it's sad yeah and it was like a it was like a light blue color too and the interior was like flawless the, the interior was mint the interior was like dark blue color oh my gosh i love those types of interiors actually guys but yeah some sad things but anyways that's what i got uh yeah so like i said guys you know we have to we have to really save these old mercedes because if we do not i mean there's not going to be many left out there and it's true you know also if you you know if let's say we're using these cars as car parts you know uh you know, it's it's really a bad thing you know we actually have to try and save these cars we can't just be using these cars as car parts all the time you know because then after i don't know so many years we're not going to have those cars anymore and you guys are going to be complaining why the heck we don't have any more mercedes left or why these mercedes are so expensive now that's because people are using them for car parts and they just don't care you know they just don't care about it you know that's another sad thing is we have to save these cars you know nobody makes great cars like these anymore show me some other cars like you know it doesn't matter what but show me other you know mercedes or you know new mercedes there's there's nothing like this out there now you know the the pieces of junk that they make nowadays just uh, i really don't even want to you know look into that or care i don't really care about it you know all i care about is these old mercedes because they truly deserve love and there's still a lot of them out there because people love these cars there's so many enthusiasts of these cars not only in the united states but also europe asia africa even and you know south america and you know all that australia so you know this these cars deserve truly they deserve love and they deserve to live and no matter what shape it's in as you can see this is a 240d 1981 i picked up this summer 
because the guy wanted to scrap it and I said no man you know listen let, let me come get it um, and I got it and she's gonna be revived you know she's already kind of getting revived at some point and she deserves it I mean it's it's an amazing car plus the color like that and it's a stick shift you know four-cylinder diesel I mean literally guys and like I said my W126 Ursula I've owned her for almost two years now and yeah she needs a lot of work but I took this car across the country you know the, the only th time she gave me an issue was in Oregon mountains when she overheated but that's about it you know she she overheated because the radiator was like all clogged up from the outside so I cleaned that all up and right now she's like she runs like a baby she, it's like brand new car and she has like a half million miles show me a car that they make nowadays that's gonna make it to 500,000 miles you know like that with the original engine and original trans no no other cars will do that like the new cars that they make nowadays they can barely make it to a hundred thousand miles literally that's how funny it is but it's true even new mercedes they cannot you know that the new mercedes hit like fifty thousand miles there's already problems with those cars like you know <laughs> and part of it is also because of those uh crazy electronics that they put in these new cars which is so pointless you know they just you know why would you need like all this like bluetooth thing and all these other things in this you know in these new cars you know it's just it just distracts you from driving so i don't know but these cars like i said i mean they don't have any computers the engines run uh you know all, they're all mechanical like as far as these uh om616s and om617s they they're all mechanical there's nothing electronic and you know that's why even it's so amazing even when your alternator goes out this car is still gonna run like no problem you know it's gonna drive uh, but if you're driving at night of course your headlights will go out at some point or will get really dim but the engine's gonna keep running like no problem. If we don't save these cars now, um, at some point it's gonna be too late uh, and uh, we will all regret it. We will all regret that we use these cars as parts cars. We, we all regret it uh, that we scrapped a lot of these cars. I did not scrap any cars in my life and I will never do. But those people that scrapped these amazing old school cars, you guys will regret it at some point uh, because you will probably see my video and you will see these amazing cars that I have. And you'll be like, damn, I wish I never, you know, got rid of my 123 or I wish I never scrapped my 123 but at that point it will be too late there's gonna be no more 123s or 126s left uh, so that's why you guys need to really like think about your actions and what you guys are doing because it's 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 getting ridiculous you know seeing all these cars you know parted out you know there's you know groups on Facebook oh you guys are anybody oh I, I don't want to fix this problem on my car I just I just hit like you know my front end a little bit you know like I hit my like you know I had a fender bender I don't want to fix it anymore I'm gonna scrap it or if you guys want it you know like you can come pick it up and use it as parts cars you know like it's just crazy I mean I, I look at all this stuff and then like I just I really get upset and kind of mad because man like if you own a car like that and then you kind of like wreck it a little bit I mean it's all fixable man you know like people in Europe you have no idea but people in Europe they wreck these cars like so crazy some of them but they still they love these cars to the point that they're actually gonna keep that car and they're gonna rebuild it it might take a little time or they might pay a shop to do it but they will rebuild the whole thing you know I've seen a 123 was like smashed the whole front like rear end was smashed and the guy was like and the guy truly was a true enthusiast the guy loved the car so much he kept it and then he finally fixed it up he actually you know he welded you know new quarter panels uh you know uh, it was actually erect on this side i don't know if you can, if i can find a picture of it but it was kind of bad it was you know this quarter was you know quarter panel was all smashed and all that but he cut it out and he welded a new piece and then you know he actually needed a restoration that's another thing is people get really scared about you know the rusty these rusty uh, mercedes you know and there's nothing to be scared about you know i'm probably i'm trying to i'm gonna try to actually like maybe insert a video down below so you guys can see some restorations that people do on these old school mercedes you know and it's actually it's a lot worse than you guys think you know he, there's a there's a guy that actually restored the 123 and it's actually really amazing uh he had so much rust on that car so many rust holes like you would remove this fender and behind that fender there would be so much rust and rust holes it's you have 
have no idea you would really think that the car is beyond the fixing but it's not it's so it's the guy really put dedication and work into the car did everything himself welded new panels on fixed patched up the holes everything new paint job the car was like brand new that's how much the guy really loved his car you know so you don't need to give me any excuses for that like if you say that the car is too rusty or it's way too gone you're wrong you are not a true enthusiast and this is true though there's a lot of people that are gonna agree with me because i'm telling you the truth you know uh if some of some of you let's say some of you own this 126 you guys are gonna tell oh this car's too rusty junk it or part it out you know no i will never do that i will fix this car because i'm a true enthusiast of these old mercedes and if you're not if you're thinking you know if you have a, a mercedes benz old school mercedes benz that you know needs a lot of work or it's way too rusty and you think it's way too rusty then you shouldn't be owning one of these cars i'm kind of emotional right now because uh, i really i'm trying i really wanted to shoot this video for a long time because it's truly i'm really upset with a lot a lot of people in this in this world you know because that's just the way it is but i just wanted to you know tell you that all of you that watch my channel thank you so much and i know that you, the guys that you know are watching my channel you guys are true enthusiasts and you know what i'm talking about and you love these cars and i really appreciate everything you guys do and i appreciate you guys save these cars this the, the car really the, the car you know is gonna be so happy you have no idea like i have a feeling that when i got this car like this cherry pie as soon as I started driving her, she was kind of like talking to me. She was like, oh, Vita, you're, thank you so much for saving me. Literally, I really, I, I can't believe you found me and I can't believe that you saved me because I thought I was gonna go to the graveyard. That's how she was talking to me. And she's right now here sitting smiling, you know, literally with these beautiful European headlights and everything. Okay, she's waiting on her turn, you know, she needs a lot of work, she needs uh, floors welded, okay, the, the, the trunk is all rusty and stuff because of water leaks, that's another problem, water leaks on these cars, are they're, they're pretty terrible because of these seals, the seals are 40 years old, you have to change the rear windshield seal, the trunk seals, the door seals, there's so many seals, you guys have to change that, the sunroof seals if you have a sunroof, because if you don't do that, then the water is going to be getting inside your trunk and everything and you know, it's going to be uh, at some point it's going to start rusting, you know, but that's that's the maintenance thing you know you have to actually look into these things and you know prevent them you can't just drive these cars you know uh you have to actually you know there's another thing there's another tip that i'm going to tell you guys do not ever park the car under the tree because if you park under the tree all the leaves are going to be falling down here everywhere and it's going to be clogging up your drains and all the other stuff you guys know what i'm talking about but that's actually true um and then there's going to be water getting inside your interior but anyways i got a little off topic right now but yeah back to saving old school benzes like i said thank you so much for watching um you guys are awesome thanks for supporting vito's garage i really want to grow together i want to build a big big group community for these old school mercedes um and seriously guys thank you so much for all your support likes uh, subscriptions you know it really helps a lot i really want to convince more people to you know take care of these cars and love them and enjoy them driving them because how reliable they are how amazing they are how noticeable they are on the road how many thumbs up people give you for that and how amazing of head turners they are thank you so much for watching once again guys take care i'll see you in the next one that's best of their needs save old mercedes bye yeah i mean there's there's lots of enthusiasts of these cars and me personally i'm a really big fan of these cars and you know seeing them uh you know just neglected or not being taken care of it just makes me so sad uh it's just shows me how some people don't understand how amazing these cars are you know and how like it's crazy because all these people you know they drive these cars some of them who drive these cars like they just they don't really care so they're just driving them until they break and then something breaks they get a bill because they don't know how to work on these cars they go to the you know repair shop they give them a bill and they don't want to pay for it you know so they just scrap the car or something like that you know it's it's really sad because and then after they scrap it they go and they buy a brand new car and what happens with that they get a lot of interest and they don't realize that they go to the dealership they buy a brand new car they already lost like three thousand bucks at least you know coming out from the dealership and whatever piece of junk brand new car they get hyundai whatever prius some other bullshit they're gonna they already lose money and they get interest on top of that and the price of that brand new car depreciates with 
years and years you know so so that's that's a really big thing and the people a lot of people don't understand that they just they just think oh man i'm gonna get a brand new car i'm not gonna have to worry about things and then boom 20 thousand miles later oh i get a check engine light on my volkswagen or i get like these problems i get a tire pressure light you know um damn you know and on these cars <laughs> oh my gosh they just go and go i mean like it's it's just it's just something you know like uh pure heathery uh you know you're awesome if you're watching me you're probably gonna understand and you're gonna you're gonna know what i'm talking about because uh we're big enthusiasts of these cars, me and you. I mean, it's 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 amazing. That's that's how it is. You know, I actually can't wait to visit, come visit you someday uh, in Florida. You know, I'm probably gonna drive my maybe 126, but actually, I really want to restore this uh, this baby first. You know, but we'll see how circumstances are. But I definitely want to make a trip out there. Um, and yeah, but anyways, guys. So that's kind of like the the thing. Uh, what I mean is, is you guys have to really kind of like deeply think into that because these cars um, they were made with pride they were made with love and they were made uh, with a thought about people you know uh, meaning that you know German engineering you know Ger German engineers back in you know 1970s 1960s 1980s uh, even 1990s you know they knew what they were building and they had the understanding you know like that this is the only thing that people need you know like they don't need crazy fancy things back then and honestly saying that w126 300 sd 1981 it already has a sunroof i mean it's so sophisticated guys and it's just amazing you just need like a, a basic maintenance to maintain these cars it doesn't need to be crazy yes sometimes they need repair sometimes they need brakes suspension alignment and all that other things you know but it's all worth it you know at the end you fix all that and then you drive for another 100 years until you die so that that's how amazing these cars are and even yeah like like i said i mean i don't know i don't have any words i just want to you know spread this video to all the people that you know are truly you know big enthusiasts of these cars is i wanna uh, my goal is to save as many of these cars as possible you know like if you guys you know if you want like maybe i can you know give you my phone number or something like that you know you guys can come to me somehow you know uh you know i'll, I'll help you know fix work on these cars dude that's what you know i i pretty much do you know i work on other mercedes here as well you know i try to help other people out that have these old school mercedes because i really love them and i want them to be alive so and i have actually a lot of you know other friends with you know old school mercedes that uh you know that's how we kind of like meet as a group you know like mercedes enthusiasts all come together as one big family so and like i was telling you in other videos guys i want to make a trip road trip to alaska with uh you know but the only thing that there's a rule is you guys have to have an old school mercedes or maybe it's okay you can have another old school car like whatever it's a, if it's an old school bmw or some old school volkswagen that's fine but it has to be an old school car but my kind of like my dream right now is actually to go to uh, alaska make a road trip it would be really awesome imagine uh all these old school cars old school mercedes and maybe some other old school cars drive like all together so many of them on one road to Alaska it's kind of cool I think it would be really some nice pictures some nice memories and uh, videos so yeah I actually can't wait for that and that that will happen sooner or later for sure so if you guys are interested let me know uh, because I really want to uh, get that thing done I actually want to go on a road trip like that so